Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we're gonna be talking about the Intel DG GPUs or the Arc Alchemist series GPUs expected to come somewhere in 2022. And I actually covered it in a previous episode of Caffeine and Crypto. Uh, where Moore's Law is Dead showed us a couple pictures here. Uh, maybe these GPUs were, you know, engineering samples during testing, whatever it may be. It's just a plain Jane dual fan cooler, uh, nothing too crazy. And then there's no back plate uh, with a few things kind of covered up, probably the memory and, and some other components. Uh, will the retail or the actual final revision come out with back plates? I really hope so because most manufacturers should be using back plates and thermal pads. Uh, between the PCB and the backplate to help cool the memory. But, you know, these GPUs are going to have, there's going to be a couple things that I want you to be aware of. I just want to make sure that your expectations are set correctly and not to get all hyped up about uh, this particular GPU just quite yet. It should be a great GPU, but we'll just have to wait and see. As far as expecting when it will come out, uh, Intel has officially confirmed that the first of many Intel Arc G uh, graphics cards, codenamed Alchemist, are set to release sometime in Q1 of 2022. Uh, which, of course, uh, runs from January to March 2022. Um, the memory configuration is pretty much the standard t of today, uh, which is online with AMD and NVIDIA. It's going to be around at least a top-end one. is going to be 16 gigabytes of GDDR6, uh, not 6X, and it's going to be operating between 14 gigabits per second or 18 gigabits per second. Intel is suspected to utilize a 2 56-bit bus, which is very important uh, when it comes to mining, for the top 512 EU graphics card. So that's the top card, uh, which will put it on par with the RTX 3070 from NVIDIA or the RX 6800 from AMD, um, although AMD does benefit from features such as Infinity Cache. Now, Moore's Law is Dead, uh, which is a content creator that I appreciate and has some really good information. If you want to a better technical understanding and get a little bit deeper into the weeds. Moore's Law is Dead is someone you should check out. Their content is really great. Gives us some good, useful information. And even though his channel is not a mining channel, the data and information that that individual provides can actually help us draw conclusions or speculate on what the hash rate might be. Uh, Moore's Law is Dead claims that the images of the Intel GG2 uh, taken during testing, which are these two pictures right here, um, has or features an 8 plus 6 pin, uh, which is about standard um, with a TDP of likely around 275, which is obviously what the expectation is. Of course, we got PCIe 5.0 coming. Uh, Intel is set to support PCIe 5.0, obviously because their new motherboards are, are going into that generational uh, leap. But uh, the TDP is measured differently from different manufacturers, AMD, NVIDIA, and Intel. So what I would recommend is most of you, you know, be patient, wait for content creators to come out with some data for you to actually get some numbers on, and then we'll kind of go from there. If we scroll down here, we can see the lesser Intel GPU. I'd be very interested because we've seen with the NVIDIA, what is it, the A2000, I want to say. It could run off of 75 watts and, and hash is pretty good. I would interest, I'd be interested to see what the Intel GPU does. It's probably not going to be up there as far as hash rate, but we could see a comparison here of, you know, execution units, shading units, memory type, so on and so forth. Uh, it's probably going to be 16 gigabytes at the high end of GDDR6, maybe 12, I would say 12 of GDDR6 in the mid-range and maybe 8 at the low end. Anybody, any manufacturer really releasing cards with 6 or 4 gigabytes of memory is, is not going to do it justice. I really think that these manufacturers, like the lowest one you should have is eight gigabytes nowadays, but that's me personally. And then you can see the memory bus actually gets handicapped pretty good here, uh, which we've seen with the 6700, right? If the 6700 XT from AMD did not have a 192 bit bus, uh, that GPU would be a powerhouse in my personal opinion, you know, be hashing closer to a 6800, 6800 XT, uh, but with less power draw or a little bit less power draw. Uh, but of course, you know, 256-bit bus on the high end for Intel, maybe 192 at the mid-range, and I don't understand 64-bit, but whatever. We'll just have to wait. As these GPUs get closer to launch, we'll get more and more leaks and more and more data. As far as to wrap up this video and, and to give you my thoughts, from a mining perspective, don't get too hyped about it. I would personally just be patient, wait for content creators. Usually when day one coverage comes out, 
you know we got all these gaming reviews you can actually use the information in those gaming reviews to kind of help you draw conclusions on what the hash rate might be but the biggest curveball is going to be that intel is using a different architecture it's a completely different supplier different manufacturer you know it's 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 not going to be a one-to-one -one comparison so we got to really got to wait Dizzy Mining is probably going to be coming out with day one coverage of the hash rates and stuff like that. I already in, uh, hit up that individual, asked them to share some data with me. Uh, we'll see how that goes. If I do get my hands on the GPUs, you know I will do some live testing and hash rates with you, as well as uh, a summary video, as I always do. But don't expect Intel to come out the gates competing at the highest level. I already said this in my previous video. Uh, Intel is really focused on the low to mid-range arena. Uh, where NVIDIA and AMD aren't really focusing. They're competing at the top level, maybe high end to mid range, but they're not really focused on the low to mid range section. And I think Intel is going to focus on that. They could capture a decent market share from there. Uh, also, the miners, right? So the mining devs that we, we usually get our miners from, so T Rex Miner, G, uh, G Miner, uh, whatever miner you're, you're familiar with or that you love. You're going to have to give those miners some time. They don't get GPUs sent to them like uh, some of the gaming content creators out there or the tech tubers. So they're going to have to wait, eventually get their hands on the GPU, and then going to have to update their resources of their miner, the kernels, whatever it may be, in order for those miners to really fully utilize the GPU, uh, the new Intel GPU, and all it has to offer. So give it some time. Be patient with it. If you are one that gets your hand on the GPU and you want to throw up some hash rates, great. Uh, will it be at full hash? I'm not sure. Uh, if we think about where the Intel GPU, at least the top of what they're offering for the Arc series or the Alchemist, is competing in the 3070 to the 6800, I can reasonably speculate that it's going to be around 50 to 50 mega hash. At what power draw? Who's to say? Uh, but I don't think it's going to be you know 64 mega hash like the 6800 or 60 mega hash like the 3070 uh, non-LHR card. But the good news is, is Intel does not plan on limiting the crypto mining hash rate. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but obviously a lot of gamers are going to want these cards and a lot of individuals in the mining space are going to want these cards. Play nice with each other because we're really just one big community. We all love tech. Uh, but just make sure you don't set your expectations too high. Don't get played into the hype and keep an eye on things. Make sure you check out Moore's Law is Dead. I'll have a link down in the description. Very good information coming from that content creator but besides that that's gonna do it for me today let me know your thoughts down on the comment section about your intel or what you expect from intel what you think intel could do are you gonna buy an intel gpu i want to know let me know in the comments besides that you all have yourself a wonderful day please do me a favor on the way out hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date what's going on as well as check out some of the links in the description that help support us and what we do here you all, you all take care and i'll catch you next one